Hi everyone, I'm Maeve. We're going to start out right away in plank, so meet me here. We're just getting right into it. Nice and strong through your thighs, push the floor away. Truth be told, if you're watching this back, I did a whole bunch of stuff, but I forgot to push record and I'm not doing it all again, so we're going to start here. Right foot forward. I'm going to blame it on Lulu and her cuteness. I'm going to bring my blocks up a little bit higher and give myself this nice extension here. She's distracting. She's chubby. She's got this white belly and these white paws and she's purring and meowing. It's not her fault. She wasn't even present when I started class. She came in after I started. She said, don't blame me, mommy. Really nice strong back leg and then lift the front hip up by pressing the foot down, straightening the front leg any amount, and pushing the floor away, lengthening your spine forward. Really nice. You can pop those blocks up as high as you need them to be at any point in time. Hi, you. She's dying for me to pet her and love on her. She's like tortured right now. Rebend the front leg. Take your block with you. And Arda Chandrasana. Opening up here. In Arda Chandrasana. I'm just going to turn toward you so I can see. Think about expanding all of your limbs, your torso, equally. So each arm equally lengthening, each leg equally lengthening, and then arms and legs equally lengthening as each other. So as much effort and energy in all parts of the body. Really nice. Bend the front knee, lean forward, step your left foot back, and then rise up, square off your feet. Hands onto your hips, inhale, lift your heart up and bow forward. Let this feel good, just an easy prasarita padatanasana. Good, inhale, lengthen your spine forward. And then walk your hands around top of the mat. I'm going to grab my blocks. And I'm going to step right back into plank again. <laughs> really nice. Strong breath here. Left knee into your chest. Step your left foot forward. Press the back thigh up toward the sky. Pull the heart forward. Really nice. So you've got this amazing line of energy from the back foot all the way through the leg, all the way through the spine, out the crown of the head. And keep that energy going. I have to do a little adjustment here. This is the beauty of live streaming classes, is that technical difficulties happen and batteries run out. So I have to just plug in my mic very quickly. I want you to stay there. And focus on that beautiful line of energy that you've got going on. I'll be right back with you. Good, and then straighten the front leg by pressing the foot down and lifting the hip up. Nice. This is quite a Monday. I've got forgetting to hit record, batteries running out, cats insisting on love. That's nothing to do with Monday, that's literally every day of the week. Okay. Rebend the front leg. And half moon draw forward. And again, balance that energy, whole body.
standing legs gonna bend you're gonna lean forward and then stretch the back leg back straighten up both legs this time waste your hands behind your hips draw the fronts of the shoulders gently open but not at the expense of arching the back and puffing the ribs so just kind of gently draw the shoulders back and then bowing forward cross sarita Adachanasana. i'm not attached to your need to kind of pull the arms overhead i remember way back in the day that would be like an adjustment we would give we'd like stabilize the back and pull the hands overhead i don't need you to do that if it feels good on your body go for it but it can be pretty intense on your shoulders and maybe not necessarily in such a good way instead i like to think about reaching the knuckle away from the shoulders lengthening the arms out inhale halfway up bring your hands around you can use blocks again if you'd like. Step back to plank. Breath in and plank. Exhale, stabilize, and then pull the heart forward. You're just gonna roll over the toes or flip the feet, come into up dog. Yes. And downward facing dog. I'm gonna move my blocks off, but if you like down dog on blocks, by all means, keep the blocks. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands into your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Press the palms together, bend the elbows, pull the hands behind the head. And exhale, release your hands to the ground. Plank, inhale. Chaturanga or the floor. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg stretches back, inhale. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Inhale, reach up, palms press, open the heart, bend the elbows. Exhale, hands come down, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. And elbows wide, exhale, really good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Palms press, elbows bend. Exhale, hands down. Plank, inhale. Chaturanga or the floor. Your back bend of choice, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot forward, Inhale, crescent. Bend the elbow. Release your hands down. Step to the top of your mat. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Awesome. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway, inhale, plank, exhale, breath in, chaturanga, inhale, rise, down dog, exhale, breath in, breath out, lift your heels, inhale, bend your knees, exhale, feet to your hands, end of the exhale, halfway, inhale, Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Elbows wide, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Elbows wide, exhale. Inhale, reach. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Open the hips if it feels nice. Lift the left heel and then opening wild thing. Come around right foot top of the mat. High in the left toes, straighten the front leg, pull the heart forward. Soften the front knee, shift forward. Ardha Chandra Chapasana, optional. Bend the top leg, find the foot. Bend both knees, bring this left knee around. Cross or wrap left over right. And then either forearms come together or right arm on top of left arm, eagle. Lift the knee up. Take the arms out like field goals. Stretch the left leg back, passing through warrior three. Step the foot back, rise up, crescent. And hands to the ground. Plank, inhale. Your path to down dog. Inhale, left leg back. Hips open if it's nice. Bend the knee, lift the heel, and flip if you'd like. Left foot, top of the mat. Both legs straight and blocks are great here. Soften the front knee. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. So good. Soften the knee to standing. Bring both knees around or the body around. Cross or wrap. And left arm on top or forms together. Eagle. Lulu's really like, I am not moving. That's her, those are her exact cat words. Not moving. We unravel. Field goal arms. Press this left leg back to pass through warrior three. And then step the foot back. Crescent. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the ground. Move through, meet in downward facing dog. Soft, steady breath in and out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands, bring your feet to your hands. Malasana. Drop your hips, lift your heart. Try to get some of my mat back. Good, hands down, 
knees to triceps, crow. So big toes start to draw in toward each other. Pick up the feet, pull them toward your sitting bones. And make your way back to downward facing dog. If you want to shoot back or jump back from there, you are welcome to moving through. Right leg back, inhale, open up, bend, flip if you'd like, wild thing. Right foot comes forward, Hanumanasana. I'm gonna take my right leg out a little wide and then shoot it forward. Half Hanumanasana with the back knee down is wonderful. Really nice. If you have a full extension here, Draw the front leg back. Bend the knee. Warrior three, rise up. Inhale, come up to stand. Take the left knee up and wide. So like out, like as if you were going into happy baby. And then you're gonna do that. You're gonna take your heel and then see if you can pick up that foot. Yeah, and then you might be happy here and you might want to take that leg all the way up and you can. It's the same energy. So good. Beautiful. Rebend the knee. Malasana, just sink down. Hands down. Knees to triceps, Bakasana, Chaturanga. Inhale, open, and down dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, left leg sweeps back, open, bend, flip if you'd like. Left foot comes around. Hanumanasana. Sorry, Lulu. That was, that was the one that triggered her. She said that was too close. Oh, the fur. <laughs> really nice. If you're forward, carefully draw back. Bend the front leg. Warrior three. Yes. Yes. Here. And then rise up. Left knee comes out wide. I'm sorry, right knee comes out wide. And then reach down. And then Think half happy, be, half happy baby. And then if it feels good, you can keep pushing because there's that pushing energy there. Beautiful. Come out and malasana. So good. All right, last bakasana, hands down, float forward. And take it back, chaturanga. Move through and down dog. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee, right elbow, exhale. Inhale back. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale back, right foot forward. Warrior one, back heel roots rise up, front knee bends a lot. Exhale, release the hands behind the hips. Inhale, heart to sky. Humble warrior, bow forward. Inhale, halfway, left hand down, pinky side of the left foot, Vashistasana. Maybe take this heel with you, maybe take it up. It's the same shape, beautiful. 
release the leg right forearm comes down left forearm comes down forearm plank turn the palms up push the fingernails down including the thumbnails and then walk your elbows in I'm sorry walk your feet in toward your elbows come into dolphin Bend both knees, flip the hands, rise up to plank. Make your way to down dog. So you can go through vinyasa or you can just press back. Inhale, left leg back. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale back, cross over. Inhale, left foot forward. Virabhadrasana one, hands release down, switch the lace of the fingers, inhale, open, 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 so good, and bow, inhale, rise, sorry, halfway, <laughs> right hand down, pinky side of the foot, maybe bring this heel with you, Vashistasana. Release the leg if you have it. Left form, right form. Flip the palms if it's okay. Walk the feet toward the elbows. Dolphin. Now you can always bring the palms together if it's better for you here. We'll do this a few more times. So you'll have the opportunity to change up the arms also. Good. Walk the feet just a smidge back. Bend your knees, flip the hands plank and your path to down dog. Inhale, heels high. Bend your knees, look forward, Malasana. Inhale, lift the heart and then round, round, round. See if you can bring your forearms down to the ground, knees onto your triceps, baby bakasana. Push, 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 push. And then back to malasana. That's a lot, I know. That's why we're going to do it again. So, arms come around, forearms come down. Lift your butt, tip, feet come together. Malasana. And one more time. Forearms come down. And lift. Good. Keep the forearms down. Bring the feet down. Step back. Forearm plank. So good. Hips release down. Point the toes. Sphinx. Pull through. my do not disturb turns off and I have to turn it back on so I don't get buzzes on my wrist it's such a distraction from my happy place notice that notice the where you let things come in and this time I don't like any buzzing on my wrist all right hands so you have a couple options here I like to hold a block like this like I'm really holding the block you can do the same action with your hands where you're like really holding your own hand I'm gonna tuck the toes and come up into dolphin again so now with the hands in this position or the forearms in in this position the outside of the arm this like arm bone is pressing down and it doesn't matter to me which you have the block or the hands, but you want to have like a really nice kind of firm press down. Here's the next piece, and I see this all the time, and it's a lot due to how much mobility you have, and we're going to do something in a moment to work on that. Um, but try not to let the elbows go out to the side. So you want, as best you can, to have your elbows at shoulder's distance. Okay, so with that grip, come back up into dolphin and just simply lift the right leg up. Come really high in those left toes. 
release the right leg down and left leg lifts up come really high into the right toes left leg down knees down and release beautiful take a child's pose if you need so I like a block here but you can just simply have your hands laced again so when you're ready come up onto your knees I'm gonna keep my block I'm holding it like this and I'm gonna bring I'll change my angle in a second but I'm gonna bring my arms by my ears and I'm gonna hold the block like crazy like crazy or I'm gonna squeeze my hands together like crazy now so from side view do your best not to arch the back here to get here so gently drawing the front ribs in and then from this view I want you to see how, and I don't know if you'll, how well you'll be able to see this, but you have to press the arms up to create space for your head. If you're just resting here, when you take this upside down, there's no place for your head to go. So you have to push, push away like you're trying to take the forearms to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And this most likely feels like quite a bit of work. It does for me. And then when we get upside down, it's like, ooh, this is work. Rise up onto your knees if it's okay. And so now we're working this strong, strong position that you would be in if you were in Pinchamayarasa. Really nice. Release down and just pause. Breathe. So you can keep working that, and that's all the good stuff that you would need if you were working um, toward Pinchamayarasana without even getting upside down. I'm a big fan of using the wall for this because my balance just isn't great upside down. It really isn't. I think when I'm 73, it will be like, it'll just click, and I'll be like, oh, I don't know why I couldn't do this before. So I'm gonna use a wall, and I'm gonna use the wall not as my balance, but as my safety. So in case things go awry, I have a little bit of catch there. I'm going to come down, wrap my hands around the block, starting in dolphin. One foot comes in, the other leg comes up. And then this grip, for whatever reason, just makes this so much easier for me as far as finding my center, feeling strong. Here she comes. Just give it a swirl or just hold your dolphin if that's better for you come down when you're ready you can do it with one leg up one leg down this is a very similar foundation for headstand if you're comfortable in headstand go for it my, I prefer this over headstand it feels better on my body and then of course if you lift it with one leg make sure you give the other leg a little love as well So good. Last 30 seconds or so here. Ow. Some days I don't mind the hard floor, other days I'm, I need the mat. These arms were meant for you. <laughs> I'm like killing myself over here. When you call my name, come running. Till then I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Yeah, child's pose. Child's pose. Really, really, really good. Really nice. Come onto your hands and your knees. And then lower to your belly. Right elbow out to the right side. Elbow pretty much in line with the shoulder. And you can kind of tune this to wherever the position is best for you. My hand is pressing into the ground. My arm is pressing down into the ground. Look to the left. Roll to your right side gently. You're not passive. Keep pressing down with that arm gently. Ooh. 
Last inhale. And then back to center. Let's do this on the other side. Left elbow out to the side. Press down, look to the right, roll on to the left side. Come back to center. And then carefully rise up. Lulu saw her opportunity to like snuggle in for reals. I am just covered in cat hair. It's hilarious. I hope none of this shows up on camera. I chose today to wear all black when Lulu was like, yeah, I'm coming in hard today. Okay, double pigeon if it works on your body. I'm just going to adjust my music here. That's why I had my phone handy. And stacking the shins. Wow. I'm really fuzzy right now. Hmm. Lift the spine up. So, I didn't give you an alternative from Double Pigeon, did I? I know I didn't. So you can cross your shins in front, you do Pigeon instead. You can also just figure it out, right? So you come here, maybe your foot's like not wanting to go out there, your knee's up high. It's okay. It might change, it might not. As long as there's no pain, the shape doesn't have to be any certain way. Maybe a few more breaths here. the top or front leg. Lift the spine. Notice your breath. Notice the dialogue in your mind. Another inhale. And gently release with your exhale. Wide legs. <laughs> and truly a mess. Oh my goodness. Oh well. I've got deodorant on my knees from doing crow pose. I have cat fur from ankle to chest. It's 
a good day. to a cross-legged position. You can sit on a block if you want. And this doesn't have to be like a neat sukhasana. It could be any kind of like a stacked foot, whatever feels good here. And then rise through your spine. And simple twist. Reverse it. Through center. Hands behind your head. Drop your head back into your hands. Lift your heart up. Keep some of this openness, some of this expansion, and then just gently release the hands down. Neutralize the spine. Neutralize your chin. Allow your eyes to soften or close. Just a few breaths here. They're soft. Encourage the breathing to be really natural where it just flows in and out without any effort behind it. And rather than Shavasana today, we're just going to end in this space of self-awareness, connectedness to yourself, feeling how your body feels, noticing your mind and what it might be doing in this moment. Not every practice wraps in a neat little bow. Sometimes we're left feeling like we want more. Or maybe our body doesn't feel the way we were hoping it would feel at the end. And accepting that and being at peace with that is part of this practice, of this self-observation. Some days we feel fantastic. however you feel and knowing that you are enough still no matter how you're feeling bring your palms together at your heart and gently bow your mind to your heart truly truly honor yourself Rise, eyes gently open. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for being here with me.